Hey y'all, it's Sable and welcome back. Today's video is a basic bar thigh workout with a bender ball. So this is a lot of fun. I'm just gonna show you a way that you can add variety to your home workouts. Let's get to it. So we're gonna start with a bent leg lift. I'm gonna tuck that bender ball right here into my left knee. My foot is flexed to help me hold on to that. And we're pulling up and pushing back. Pulling up and pushing back. So this move is a little bit of a double whammy because you're gonna get thigh, hip flexor, and hamstring. And some instructors call, call the hamstring the back thigh. <laughs> and I laugh every time, the back thigh. But I mean, I guess technically that's what it is. Push and pull. Make sure your right knee is kind of soft. And lift up in the front. Pull those toes up into your shin. Lift here, six, five, four, three, two. Hold, good. We're gonna switch sides. So squeeze that ball in, point up. Push back. So I think this is a nine inch bender ball. It'll also work with a mini ball. The mini ball is just a little bit more of a challenge to hold on to in this particular move. Push and pull. Soften that left knee. Posture up here. We have about six minutes of this thigh set today. You're already well on your way, a third of the way through. <laughs> and keep it lifted right here. Lift six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, two, one. Nice work. We're gonna step that out in to wide second position, and we're gonna put the heel of the left foot on your bender ball right here. So your stance is gonna be just a little bit smaller than your typical plie. And I want, let's see, let's do 60, 40 weight distribution. Let me explain that. We're gonna have 60 here, 40 here, down and lift and that ball is adding the instability under that left leg for the challenge. It's so much fun to move your body and challenge it. Here we go, let's up the intensity, push, push, down. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the other side too, oh yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Good job. We're gonna step that in to V position. So this is first position in ballet. Heels are gonna be together. But before you get there, put your bender ball right between your legs, just a little bit above the knees. Squeezing the heels together. Knees are coming forward. Down and lift, down and lift. So fight, fight right here to keep those knees tracked down over the toes. Heels are lifted, ears, shoulders, hips, heels in line. This is the only thing we're doing right here. So really think about your form. Let those thighs do the work. Are you ready to the pulse it out here? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, three, two, and one. Wide second again. You got two legs, you want to be even, right? Put the ball under that right heel. 
No. Sugar. There we go. Down and lift. Down and lift. So adjust your stance as needed so that you feel balanced. 60, 40. Try and pay attention to the ways that your knees are going over toes right here. And if you're breathing a little heavy, it's no problem. <laughs> big muscle groups, big air. Breathe it in. And we're gonna pulse it down here. Pulse, pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Both of them. Five, four, three, two. Hold it, oh my gosh, stay here. Perfect. <laughs> Now we're gonna put that ball right here between the calves. So that should make your feet just outside of, or just under hips, parallel position. Toes face forward. Lift into your heels, drop it down, and here. Work about four inches. Make sure your spine is neutral. So what I mean by that is, don't poke out right here for me, stay here. and keep a light pressure with those calves on the ball. So this is intense, but it's still basic, right? Simple as simple can be. And you're still getting lots of great work. And because I wanna challenge you just a little bit, pulses for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, freeze it right here. Rest in the fire with me. Three, two, one. If you finish this full six minutes, let me know how you feel in the comments below. I'd love to connect with you. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right now because we post new videos for a variety of fitness levels every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.